Over 1,000 motorcycles have for some time been abandoned at various police stations after police impounded them over different traffic offenses. Traffic police officers say motorcycles impounded due to minor charges like driving without permits, careless riding, riding without wearing a helmet and a reflector should pick their motorcycles immediately. According to Michael Kananura, the traffic police spokesperson, proper documentation of a motorcycle like a logbook, the owner's national ID and a driving permit are a prerequisite for one to get the motorcycle. For riders not having permits, I mean uh, uh, crash helmets and uh, reflective jackets, we expect these people to come and then they are issued tickets which are paid and then they take the motorcycles. He, however, says those whose motorcycles are still under investigations have to wait. But there are also those motorcycles at stations on various other offences, which are which are which are, which whose inquiries are, are underway. For example, motorcycles in CIDs with the uh, uh, cases, complicated cases, which are being investigated, and then those uh, whose cases um, are accident, have accident cases, and their cases are not concluded at in court. All those we know. Despite traffic police's appeal to border border riders to pick those motorcycles that have been parked at different stations for so long, the operations against these riders who violate traffic rules are ongoing. Emmanuel Mohawuzi, the president of the New Generation United Boda Boda Foundation Uganda, says police should willingly hand over the impounded motorcycles to the owners. He says traffic police would make use of the media to advertise all the impounded motorcycles to enable owners easily trust them. Investigation that most motorcycles are stolen ones. I still got the first if I told you they should advertise. When they advertise, everyone will know his or our motorcycle is. Mohawzi has tasked the traffic police to make use of the data at URA in order to trace the rightful owners of the impounded motorcycles. Secondly, they should go to URA. They first look who is the first owner of those motorcycles. Motorcyclists have protested the conduct of plainclothed men who, with the help of KCCA law enforcement officers, as well as the traffic police officers, who impound their motorcycles with the sole aim of soliciting bribes from the riders. Yeah, Becca Senyonga Mlinde, NTV, tonight.